The business also rents out photo booths for events. Very creative. All right, Todd, we got to make some outdoor <laughs> plans this afternoon. What can we expect today? You know, you really do, Lauren. Take advantage. Today's the last day in the 60s for at least a foreseeable future, and it's dry. We have sunshine out there because by this time tomorrow, we'll be starting the big change to a completely new weather pattern that'll be in place for the remainder of the week. So it's mild, it's sunny today. The rain and wind arrives tomorrow, followed by the colder weather. And by colder, we're talking about high temperatures that are only going to be in the low 40s by the time we get to Saturday and Sunday. In fact, on Saturday, some of you probably don't even get out of the 30s. Beautiful view from IMS looking back towards downtown. Outside of uh, turn two here, you can see the foliage continuing uh, to turn. A little late for this time of year, but starting to hit its peak or past peak here across central Indiana. And look at these temperatures. At the noon hour, we're in the 50s and 60s. Our normal high this time of year is 54, so already above that. And we'll continue to see these temperatures warm a couple more degrees uh, throughout the course of the afternoon. Now, here's the bad news. While we started off with the sunshine this morning, the clouds are starting to increase. These are just the high thin clouds initially, uh, but they'll start to thicken up as the afternoon goes on. And eventually we do turn mostly cloudy, but you don't have to worry about any of this rain that stays off to our west until the, the day tomorrow. So while it does become cloudy, temperatures will climb to about 65 here in Indies near 70 from Bloomington over towards the Columbus area, and then lower 60s uh, to the north. Use this opportunity before the rain and the wind, maybe to do a little fall cleanup in your yard, get those uh, leaves up, make sure you clean out the storm drains as well in front of your house if they're clogged uh, with some of the leaves uh, from them coming down uh, before this rain arrives. Now the morning commute tomorrow is in pretty good shape. I think most of the rain comes in mid morning throughout the afternoon hours. You notice the temperatures, they peak early morning and then they start to fall as the wind really starts to pick up. So your rain chances tomorrow ramp up throughout the morning hours. It's a pretty solid rain mid morning through the early afternoon and then we taper it off to scattered showers for your ride back home from work and here's how it plays out on Truecast hour by hour 11 a.m. with the time stamp there in the top right hand portion of your screen the rains moving into western Indiana by 11 a.m. comes through the heart of the state as we approach the lunch hour and just after the lunch hour and there could be a few thunderstorms with some heavier downpours tomorrow but we're not expecting any severe weather that is the good news uh, by late afternoon the heavy rains into Ohio and then there'll be some spotty showers that'll linger into your Thursday evening but the other thing I mentioned the wind it really picks up as the actual front goes through some wind gusts tomorrow up to the mid 40s maybe even 50 miles per hour out of the south and then the wind changes direction once the front goes through it still remains gusty but it becomes that cold chilly north to northwesterly wind and look what that does to the temperatures Friday a few snow showers possible at 47 Saturday very chilly at 40 degrees and then on Sunday we're looking at a wintry mix possible not expecting accumulation temperatures in the 40s the ground is still really warm the intensity of the snow won't be able to overcome that warm ground so while you may see a few flakes we're not expecting any accumulation and then Monday and Tuesday still chilly in the 40s so by far the shining light in the seven-day planning forecast Lauren definitely today with that high of 65 all right Todd well they may